Encapsulation is the process of protecting the internal representation of an object. It's known as data hiding because we make the data private, so the data cannot be accessed from outside the class. Hi, my name is Rex, and I like to share programming and automation knowledge through books, blogs, and videos. If you're interested in the content, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and GitHub. Let's go to Eclipse. We have a class called Employee with the double data type for salary and bonus. The method calculate total pay performs an action on the data by adding salary plus bonus, then assigning the value to total pay. Let's look at why we need to protect our data. In this class called Test Employee Object, Jane's salary should be set to $100,000 and bonus set to $10,000. However, check out what happens when we calculate total pay. Jane made over $1 million with a total pay of $1,010,000. The salary is not correct at $1 million. This is a prime example on why we need to protect our data. A person can make a mistake and enter the wrong data. So we protect the data using a private access modifier with getter and setter methods. A getter method is used to get and view values, while a setter method is used to set or modify a value. Let's say the company's policy is no employee gets paid less than $50,000 and no employee gets paid more than $250,000. We protect the data by changing salary and bonus to private. Then save. Do you see how instantly Jane.salary and Jane.bonus both have an error? They have an error because they are no longer visible. Next, we create a setter method for salary. Let's start with salary. We write public board set salary. The parameter will be double salary inside the parenthesis. And if salary is greater than or equal to $50,000 and salary is less than or equal to $250,000, this dot salary equals salary. Else, this dot salary equals zero dollars. Let's add a print statement. Sys out. Salary is incorrect. This, the keyword this, for this dot salary refers to the field private double salary and not the parameter salary in parentheses. Now we have a boundary for setting our salary. For bonus, there is no limit. So I'm going to create a setter method by writing public void set bonus, double bonus as the parameter. This dot bonus equals 
bonus. In the test employee object class, we must call the methods by writing Jane dot set. The IntelliSense shows set bonus and set salary. Select set salary. Then pass $1 million. Again, as an argument. Also write Jane dot set bonus. Then pass $10 thousand dollars let's run <laughs> we protected the salary so the console shows salary is incorrect change one million to one hundred thousand dollars and run now salary is correct the console shows total pay equals one hundred and ten thousand dollars how can we print the salary and or bonus from the test employee class sis out jane's salary equal jane dot we know the data is not available because it's private. That's where the concept of getter methods come to action. It will help us get the data. We write public. Since the data type is double for salary, then the return type is double. Get salary as the method name, no parameters, and we're going to return salary. From the beginning, if you did not want to write each getter and setter method, then Eclipse can generate both methods for us. Right click, select source, then generate getter and setters, then check bonus, and click OK. There it is. Public double, get bonus, and return bonus. Now, let's finish our print statements. Jane dot get salary and sis out Jane's bonus is Jane dot get bonus let me go save over here bingo now let's run there it is Jane's salary is 100,000 bonus is 10,000 and total pay is $110,000. Bingo. Next, we're going to look at inheritance. 